I'm back to the future. Yesterday I was flying C46 Lockheed 188. Now the Dreamliner. But this is not good. My flight has already been delayed. It's really expensive in Canada airfares. The mass of sorrow was the best part of Air Canada's new livery. Uh, today's flight time to uh, Montreal is about 3 hours and 15, 3 hours and 20 minutes. I'm trying out a Riesling from Canada. Here's your tuna appetizer. This is almost a secret I'm going to show you today. Yeah, let's go have a look. Okay. Back at the Yellowknife Airport terminal, flying out today, Air Canada to Calgary, and then overnight, the next day, Calgary to Montreal on the Dreamliner. This has got to be the most unique baggage belt. It's got a polar bear and a seal underneath it. Three days of classic raw aviation, now back to the future, flying CRJ900 today to Calgary. Not too excited after what I've seen last three days, to be honest. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. So the CRJ900 is quite narrow. It has one and two sitting in business class and two and two sitting in economy. To my surprise, there's actually a TV screen, power outlets, and even foot rest. And the overhead bins are large enough to fit a suitcase. On the left side, there's a smaller bin to fit your winter clothes. Expecting smooth flying conditions at 37,000 feet, time en route of uh, 1 hour and 37 minutes. Air Transport Canada still requires all passengers to wear face covering at all times on board this aircraft. After a nice stop at Calgary, I'm back at the airport flying on Air Canada Dreamliner today to Montreal. Uh, this is not good. My flight has already been delayed one hour, uh, which I knew in Canada there's lots of flight delay at the moment. I just met these two travelers um, from Canada. Where are you guys flying to today? We're headed to New York through Toronto. Right. And uh, what do you think about the airfare in Canada? <laughs> oh my goodness, where do we start? I think. Um, so we're also going to Europe in, uh, in a few months, and I think it's hilarious when it's cheaper to fly to Europe than to fly to parts of Canada. Yeah, not, not to, wrong, right? Even to big parts of Canada. It's not like a small city somewhere. You fly to Toronto and it costs twice the amount that it costs for you to fly to Europe. It's a little bit ridiculous. I think Canadians are just too nice to accept that kind of fare. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll ever look at the price, so we'll apologize to him saying, yeah. Oh, sorry, we have sorry to pay so much. <laughs> um, how much did you pay your air ticket to uh, Toronto today? Uh, 600, I think, all in. Something like Something that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's still expensive. It's still it expensive, is. yeah. It it's really expensive in Canada, the airfares. Of course, there's only one dominating airline. It's not like a monopoly, right? And you got a few regional airlines. 
To me, I think the cheapest way traveling can, of course, use your miles, Star Alliance miles, like I did, United Airlines miles, 28,000 miles. If you buy a ticket in business class, that's all gonna be over a thousand dollars. So in terms of lounge, I do think Air Canada has a decent lounge. Um, there's quite a lot of food there, burger, slider, pizza, spring roll, real food. It's not like United Club. They give you like, you know, salary sticks. And the mask of sorrow. I think that mask was the best part of Air Canada's new livery. Hello, uh, today's flight time to uh, Montreal is about 3 hours and 15, 3 hours and 20 minutes. Uh, we're flight planned at an altitude of uh, 37,000 feet, but I suspect uh, we'll be climbing straight up to uh, flight level 390, 39,000 feet. Do you have a lot of tailwind today? It is a good tailwind today, so we're going to be about 10 to 15 minutes uh, under schedule to make up for the minor delay that we had coming in. So it's a, it's a good day for flying. Uh, I'd like to have the wheel. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All border, I'm back to the future. Yesterday I was flying C46 Lockheed 188. Now the Dreamliner. And out of Montreal later I will connect on Turkish Airline A350. Imagine two classic bird 1940s and now two most advanced and modern airplane Boeing 78 and A350. This is almost a secret I'm going to show you today. Yeah, let's go have a look. Okay. So this is the pilot's uh, crew bunks. You can see they have two adjacent beds. Obviously, they don't sleep there at the same time. Mm. And if they are not tired, they have a perfectly comfortable seat and they can watch a video. This is just for pilots, this not for a cabin for crew. That's correct. <laughs> So what do we have today for premium economy? So tonight uh, we have chicken tagine or vegetarian paella. Oh, vegetarian paella. For, for the economy, it is buy on board. That's correct. Okay, no free food. No free food, no. Here's your tuna appetizer. Would you like a bread? Uh, I have okay. white or whole meat. I had a white one. Okay.
okay it was a bit bland but nothing goes wrong it's actually served course by course which is better than just everything on one tree right so we still have about an hour and a half to go i'm trying out the flatbed here uh it's a very similar product to many other airlines has this super diamond individual seat uh, it's good the, the, the bed is quite long uh the only cons is there's a table on top of your leg which may restrict your movement when you turn I just love the view from the engine, can never get tired of that. Now we're on descent into Montreal, 20 minutes to go. There's two things I can think of, there's a problem. Uh, one is the expensive airfare. I am not familiar, I'm not from Canada. I don't know, is the population or is the government policies or is it just economics? Why the airfare is so high, especially domestic fare? I think in April, I came from Toronto to Montreal. One way was $400 last minute for 40 minute flight. It was excessive. Um, the second thing is about the refunding of COVID and also any flight delay and flight cancellation. Uh, if you get a voucher, a thousand dollar voucher, from a thousand dollar you paid, the money you pay today is going to be worth less tomorrow. So the airfare is going up. So if you get a thousand dollar voucher, it might not buy you the same airfare you have paid. And that is a major challenge. That's now at two points on uh, generally observation on Air Canada. gentlemen first officer speaking i'll just have you stay seated with your seatbelts fastened for the next uh, little bit we're not quite at the gate yet there's an airplane right in front of us here once he's out of the way we'll proceed to the gate uh, thanks for flying with us today have a pleasant stay at much here.